My name's Vincent Clark. I'm at the University of New Mexico in the Department of Psychology, and I'm director of the Psychology Clinical Neuroscience Center there. Um, the work we do is using something called transcranial direct current stimulation to alter brain function and improve behavior. And it's a method that uses a very low electric current, about two milliamps or less. And we put electrodes on um, people's heads and produce a small electric current. And then they perform tasks or learn something. And we find we can enhance that with TDCS. So we had our first study, we used uh, pictures that had objects hidden inside them and people had to learn to identify the objects. And it was a difficult task. The pictures are hard to, to understand, to be able to find the objects. And we found that people that received TDCS learned twice as much as people that didn't receive TDCS or received a very low amount of electric current that wasn't effective. So after that, we've been trying to figure out exactly how it works. And we find there's different effects on the brain that uh, TDCS enhances blood flow underneath where the electrodes are placed. And also it increases um, metabolites that we know are associated with brain activity. So TDCS seems to increase brain activity. And we also use uh, uh, other sorts of tasks and we find that TDCS enhances certain forms of attention that might be involved with being able to identify these objects. Um, and we also are looking at other ways to look at brain functions. So we've used um, magnetoencephalography that records magnetic impulses from the brain. And we see effects of TDCS there that uh, seem to enhance brain function and also uh, electroencephalography or EEG. And we find effects there as well. And generally TDCS enhances brain activity, all these different measures of brain activity, brain function. Now we have a number of new studies where we're looking at using TDCS to reduce drinking in people that might become alcoholics, um, to treat people who are trying to give up smoking, um, to enhance learning and memory in people and uh, enhance problem solving capabilities. Um, we're using it to uh, different versions of it to treat um, Parkinson's disease, and um, pain and uh, motor illnesses and a whole variety of things. So it could turn out to be a very effective treatment for a huge variety of different clinical disorders. Um, it's very inexpensive. Um, these systems, we can buy them for about $250. They run on a nine volt battery. It takes about a month to wear down the nine volt battery. So it's very, very low levels of current. Um, we can't find any really severe side effects. Sometimes people get a little redness under the electrode. A few people get a headache, but it's relatively uncommon. And uh, um, it's much safer than a pill for most things that we're trying to use it for. Um, in some cases too, there's no drug treatments for things that we're finding TDCS can be helpful for. One of them is uh, people that have hallucinations that say schizophrenics that have auditory hallucinations. It's one of the things that a schizophrenic person will tell you is the worst thing about their illness. There's a group in France that's found that they can reduce those hallucinations by 50% with TDCS. And really there's no other good way to do that right now. So I think there, it could turn out to be a new form of medicine based on this low level DC current. There's other new technologies being developed that use other forms of current, um, uh, modulated current like alternating currents at different frequencies or random noise. Those have effects as well. Um, other groups are using other ways to put energy into the brain to produce effects like ultrasound and uh, magnetic stimulation as opposed to electrical. And combining these different methods together can produce a lot of benefits. So we're at a very early stage of using these low levels of energy going through the skull into the brain to affect brain function. Ultimately, I think can, can do a lot to improve treatments for a huge variety of different disorders.